If you want to work with Google services inside of an MSN process, it's actually very easy to set up. Let's say, for example, we want to work with Google Drive. Here we are going to choose Google Drive trigger, let's say on changes involving a specific folder. And we basically want to monitor a folder for a specific task. Let's go back here. Let's say we are going to monitor a folder and then we are going to send an email every time something happens in a specific folder inside of our Google Drive. So this is a simple process just to see how we can set everything up in order for us to be able to work with Google services inside of an editing process. So here, what we will need to do is that we will need to come here and create credential and we will need to get the client ID and the client secret in order for us to be able to connect to it. To be able to do that, we're going to go to console.cloud.google and here we are going to create a new project unless you already have the project created, but you just create a new project here. It's created. Once it's created, we are going to select the project from here. Now we have two choices. We either can go to API and services to uh, enable the API from here. Or what I like to do is actually look for the specific API that I am trying to enable. Basically enable it right away. So I'm going to look in this case for Google Drive. So it's going to give me Google Drive API. And here I am going to click on enable. Once it shows me the screen, I'm going to go to OWASP consent screen. And here I will basically just click on get started. I don't need to think so much. Let's just click on get started. Let's name this N8N. And then as support email, we are going to have our own email in here. Let's click on next, then external next. Just put another uh, email in here, then click on next and I agree. Click on continue and then create. Once that's finished, go to clients and here create a client. The application type will be web application. Let's name it N810. And in the authorized redirects URIs, just click on add URI. And here we're going to go back to N810. In order to get this URI that we have here, we're going to paste it and then we are going to click on create. And here we're going to have the client ID and the client secret. So let's copy them client ID, then the client secret, let's paste them in here. And before doing anything in NA10, let's just click on OK here and go back to audience. And this is going to be the last step. Let's add users. And here, let's add the email that we will give the right to use the API. So let me just add the email. Let's click on save. And that's basically it. Now, if we come back here and click on sign in with Google, let me sign in with the email that I gave the right to. I'm going to click on continue and here I'm going to select all and I am going to click on continue. And that is it. The connection was successful and I'm going to basically do the same thing for Gmail. And because we have already created everything, what's going to happen now is that we are going to go to Gmail, create new credential, go back to our application, go to clients and inside of here, we are going to get the client ID and then we are going to get the secret. And then we're going to go back and before doing anything, we are going to look for Gmail API. And here we are simply going to click on enable. Once it is enabled, we're going to go back here and we are going to click on sign in with Google. And now we are going to simply choose our email that we have used. We are going to click on continue, select all and then continue. And that's basically a connection successful. Let's quit this now and let's actually create our process just so that we can finish and we can see it working. So here in our Google Drive trigger, we are going to choose the folder from the list. Our folder is going to be in this case listing. And let's say watch for file created. Let's go to our drive. I don't have any file in here. So as you can see, I have no file inside of listing. So if I go back here and I try to pitch this event, I will have no data with the current filter. So if I go back now and I actually, I actually put a file inside of listing and I click on fetch test event. This time I am going to have something in the output. That's good. Since I have something in the output, I will just go to Gmail and here I will send an email to myself. The subject will be file created. And here we are going to say the file and we're going to get the file name, which is here. You can find it at name has been created at the folder listing at. And here we are going to have the created time. So this would be basically a finished process. So if we click on test step, it's basically going to send it. And if we go to our Gmail, let me just go to Gmail really quickly. And here we will find the email. We will find that specific file and the date of creation of that specific file so that's basically it if this video helps you drop a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time peace